do you think produces a better automatic GMT than Rolex, with a better bracelet than most Omegas, all for about half the price of a Seiko Pro Specs LX? Well, the answer might shock you. What's going on guys? So in the past, we've taken a look at various micro brand offerings and often micro brands give you more for the money than you know your typical big box brand would. But what about the independent watchmakers that are offering a little bit more high end watches, still pretty expensive, but still much more affordable than the big box luxury brands? Well, one of those would be Manta. And we've taken a look at a Manta in the past. In fact, we've taken a look at a Manta GMT in the past, but we're here with another one. The new Manta SkyQuest. It is 8.46 p.m. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Okie dokie, guys. Today, I am wearing a Stova uh, Flieger Classic or Classic Flieger, however you want to say it. I still have this one because I stole it from my best friend, Patrick. And guess what? You're never getting it back. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm gonna send it to him. All right, so today's watch, the Manta SkyQuest, is a GMT, it's a Coke GMT, meaning, uh, you know, the colors of Coca-Cola. Not talking about that booger sugar, baby, woo! Black, red, and stainless steel. 40.7 millimeter case diameter, 11.8 millimeter case thickness, a 47.4 millimeter lug to lug, and a 20 millimeter uh, lug width. So if you wanted to take off the bracelet and put it on something else, you could do so, but I don't know why you would because Monta's bracelets are probably the best on the market, period. So again, black dial, you're getting an aluminum bezel insert. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more in the uh, in a little bit, excuse me. I was gonna say in the pros and cons, but I don't know if I'm gonna put in the pros and cons. We'll, we'll see, just hold your horses, okay? Hold your horses. 300 meter water resistance rating and a collar type GMT complication. Again, we've had debates about collar and true type. People get so upset because I referred to watches uh, in the past as true GMTs and I've referred to watches as collar GMTs and not true GMTs and people are like, uh, who are you to say what's a GMT and what isn't? This is a true GMT. Well, they both display GMT. They're, they're, they're both actual GMT watches. Like, I'm not saying one is and one is fake. I'm saying that there's a designation that I did not make. I did not create that distinction. One, a true type uh, GMT, has a, an hour hand that will jump independently of the other handset. Then there's the collar type or the office GMT. And when I say collar, I don't mean like collar of a shirt. I mean collar like beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Hi. Oh my God. What, what do you mean? Oh my God, Stacy. Stacy, no. He's my brother. You can imagine what was happening in that scene. I'm not, I don't, hey. What goes on between my two ears, that's my business. It's between me and God, okay? And you're not either of those. But my mom watches my videos, so I'm sorry, mom. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Nothing happened, okay? It was, yeah, God, it was, it was a bit. Nothing even explicit or illicit happened in the bit. Chill out. You're getting an M23 Monta Caliber Automatic, uh, threaded crown, 300 meter water resistance rating, a 56 hour power reserve, sapphire crystal, BGW9 Super Luminova. Uh, let's see, seven layers of AR coating, by the way. I should, I should have mentioned that on the underside of that sapphire crystal. And again, probably one of the best bracelets you could ever hope to have. Now all of this is well and good, right? But how does it actually fit and feel and, and what's it like on the wrist? Well, for that, we're going to jump in to the pros and cons. The pros, the first pro I should say, uh, is the bi-directional bezel, okay? Normally it would really bother me because I don't like bi-directional rotating bezels. I like I like things going one way unless you're unless you're a girl baby. Then you hey, if you want to go both ways, you feel me? I just say, hey, as long as as long as I'm there to film it, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I'm gonna get canceled. That was, that was a joke, guys. That was a joke. That was a joke. Chill. That was a joke. Just relax. But I don't like bi-directional rotating bezels because they often back out on you. All right. Um, they, they often just like aren't where you left them. And uh, this one, though, has very good ratcheting, positive feeling. It clicks into place and, and doesn't back out on you, but it's not difficult to actuate. So I really I, I love it. Next pro would be that the watch is incredibly wearable. Uh, again, the fact that they have a 300 meter water resistance rating with an automatic GMT and it's 11.8 millimeters thick, under 12 millimeters for that, that's pretty dang good. The finishing is impeccable. Uh, the nicely bordered date window at six o'clock, love it. 
uh, the display case back is, is very, very nice, nice added touch, but easily, I, I know when you look at a watch, you're often focusing on the head of the watch, but the bracelet is one of the most comfortable bracelets I've ever worn, and every time I handle a Monta watch, it does not disappoint. They're like, oh, look at this, look how we've bent the GMT hand on the Atlas. It's like, okay, yeah, w whatever, but that bracelet, but that bracelet, the bracelet is just incredible. And now to the cons, okay? It's a collar GMT. It's not a true GMT. They are both GMTs. People will get upset about this. The GMT hand jumps uh, independently of the handset. I guess people would, would prefer a true GMT and I'm sure people are gonna say, oh, a collar GMT for this money. Guys, with this finishing, with this complication, uh, with this solid build quality, under three grand's pretty dang good, in my opinion. Next up, people are gonna complain about the aluminum bezel insert because I posted a picture of this watch on Instagram and people complained about the uh, aluminum bezel insert. People were like, oh, for that money, I want ceramic. Ceramic is super overrated, guys. And it's, it's not terribly strong. Like, a ceramic bezel insert might mitigate scratches, but it's just gonna crack. Like, it, I, I, ceramic's overrated. But the actual con would be that they they didn't drill the lugs. Guys, there's, there's, and when I say guys, I'm talking to the guys at Monta. Justin, I know you're watching this. You know what, Gato, zoom me in, zoom me in. No, closer. Now, you know what, you know what? G closer, Gato. Gato, what the f are you doing? I want close, I wanna get close. Justin, I'm talking to you. There's no reason not to drill the lugs on this watch. Thank God no one's watching my channel anymore because um, I think if more people did watch my channel, I, I would be like canceled already. <laughs> all in all, I honestly think this could be one of the better office GMTs out there. I'm not a snob, but I'd probably stick uh, with my Rolex Explorer 2 if I wanted a true GMT. I just like having the hour hand jump independently. But if I wanted an office GMT, there's no way I would look anywhere but this watch because... Uh, the, the finishing is crazy, the build quality is crazy, under three grand, and a really good bezel, or, or excuse me, really good bracelet, and uh, a functional bezel. So, yeah, great watch, good job, Monta. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time, I just tell it. <laughs>